Sorry guys if that messed you up. Welcome to the fish room late night update from your boy Cichlidman09 aka the guy behind the camera. So been doing some work today. Took out my drip overflow drain system. Have all my tanks that had um, drains in them. I have those capped off. That one was a pain in the ass because it just would not seal for some reason. Teflon tape was just not working out for me today. Um, 29 is now moved over here. I got a dovi fry in there. Main reason for moving over here was my son was just making, excuse me, uh, a big mess. You get up there, splash in the tank. You can see the front of the glass is disgusting. But um, move the tank over there. Figure it out. Use the, uh, you know, top of that stand because I don't have the 20 long anymore. Um, use that as some sh space. I think what I'm going to end up doing is when I do uh, upgrade my pump, my pump's going to go down there, and I'm going to upgrade that to the next size up, and I'm going to use that pump right there to do the 150-225 air side of the fish room. I'm just going to be running uh, three filters into there, three uh, sponges, and two into the 150, in addition to the uh, 40 breeder sump that I've got going. You can see all the media in there. I'm running just some simple 500 gallon per hour pumps. Uh, I just didn't want to waste all of the, uh, you know, beneficial bacteria that I had built up in that sump. So using a couple undersized pumps for the tanks that uh, you know are doing fabulously. I mean, you can see how crystal clear that water is right there. I threw in a fine felt pad, just like a, you know, crafter's felt that'll work as really good uh, uber fine filtration for the systems. Um, but yeah, running that on there, that'll also allow me to heat through the sump instead of individually heating each tank, which would have cost me more in electricity, even if I was only running the air system. Um, funny note right there, I mean, if I was running the air system, it would cost me more in electricity than running the sump because I'll be able to heat both systems through one heater. I'll also be able to do water changes on both systems, changing water from one tank, so that'll help out a lot as well. Uh, in terms of messing around in my tanks. One thing I've noted since doing my manual water changes is that I'm spending a lot more time in the fish room with my fish and really having a great time doing it. Um, you know, I've been doing two times a week water changes, about a 50% on Sunday and about a 30% on Wednesday. So I'm doing Sunday, Wednesday water changes and some sporadic ones in between, but that's about my minimum. You can see she's got a couple nicks. These two are just ready to spawn. I can't tell if she's I can't tell if she's ready to spawn because she's really not plumped up like she's full of eggs. But um, you know, I'm getting a lot of pre-spawn behavior going, a lot of facing off and whatnot, lip locking. Same thing goes for my Rio mags. Speaking of my Rio mags, if anybody out there would like a Penguin 350, which came off of this tank today, hit me up. I've got it underneath the stand right there. Uh, you know, the back lid is broken in half, but I do have both sides. The filter works fine. I've got both bio wheels. Uh, if you want it, uh, you know, 10 bucks plus shipping to you, be a pretty good deal. Uh, just hit me up in the comments below. Uh, I've also got two Aquion 5575, same price, 10 bucks plus shipping. Not going to find a better deal. If you want all three, 25 bucks plus shipping, I don't care. Um, yeah, so two Aquion 5575s, great hang on back filters, my personal favorites as a matter of fact. 400 gallon per hour and then one Penguin 350 complete with bio wheels. I don't have the original media because I don't use that garbage, but um, you know, I might even throw some ceramic in there for you. I have a bunch. Um, so yeah, 10 bucks a piece, hit me up if you want to. Also, I am still selling my posters. We're going to drop the prices though just for my YouTube got people because my original prices were way too high. Check out these right here. I don't know if I've showed you guys these. Got some badass pictures of Azul. So we're gonna call it, let's say six bucks for the small ones, eight bucks for the large one. Check that, we'll go five dollars. Base cost and 
750. So 750, five dollars. Hit me up in the comments, whatever you like. This is what I have right here. We got Hoga Boomerum, Hulk, some Dovi, one of Megatron when he was little. This is kind of a smorgasbord, four cichlids, and then the two of Azul. I also have another one of Azul that I can show you guys at a later date. I just got to print it and send it to myself, but that one's probably my favorite. As a matter of fact, Captain Awesome has that if he wants to show it in his next video. Jeff, show everybody that awesome picture of uh, Azul you got. There's Azul right there in the in the flesh, just looking all sorts of beautiful. These guys, like I said, are ready to spawn as well. Really digging the lighting that I got going on this tank. We've got a 6500K and then a 5050 bulb and uh, digging it, very much digging it. Lights up the tank really well. That sump has this tank looking crystal clear. That penguin that I had on here was having a real tough time dealing with the uh, cloudiness lots of burps right now and uh, through the through the sump on there and within an hour it was freaking like this right here which is basically as clear as a tanks gonna get check out our boy Azul right there showing off all sorts of beautiful been uh, tweaking with my lights and whatnot trying to figure out the best spectrum for you guys on each tank to uh, you know best present my fish because I really hate posting videos in which I look back and I'm like, eh, I don't like seeing that. So, really trying to work on my production value, you know, bringing you guys the best quality stuff. Now that I'm working with this camera, you guys are definitely going to get some, definitely get some higher quality stuff and, uh, you know, sit here and zoom in, see how well we got some zoom going. There we go. There's a Zool. There's a Zool in his tank. Sorry if the sound gets weird when I uh, zoom and unzoom and whatnot. But there's our boy Hulk and all sorts of all sorts of beautiful. I want him to do a smash for you guys, Hulk smash, because he just will just clobber the tank every once in a while. My son gets right up here and stands up and just Hulk will go ape shit crazy on him. There we go. beautiful as always my next step with um, you know after I get the other air system set up uh, my next step is to be getting uh, at least cutting myself some uh, fitting lids to each tank to reduce evaporation and heat loss that way and then uh, insulate all my tanks all the way around with insulation probably just go with some one inch uh, foam insulation type of deal same stuff I use when sh you know, making shipping boxes and whatnot. That'll help with, uh, you know, electric costs. The Mag X are still with me. I actually had them sold, but uh, I backed out of the deal because uh, I just want to see where it goes. We'll see what happens. I wasn't in a rush to get them out. You know, I don't really have any plans to start anything. But, um, you know, I basically told the guy, who's, who's a good guy, you know, we dealt with each other before. He's bought Rio Mags from me. Um, you know, I was like, ah, I just kind of want to see where they go. We'll see what happens. You know, but um, excited to be keeping these guys. Glad I didn't get rid of them because I just haven't kept them long enough to uh, know exactly what kind of potential they hold. You know, in the end, it may come down to the Gorillas or the Mag X for me, and I just was too unsure. I didn't know if I was either dealing with crappy Mag X or good Mag X. So we're gonna hold on to them and see exactly how they turn out been doing a lot of spring cleaning not that it's spring anymore but you know got the fish room really all tidied up got all my stuff set aside quick DIY tip for you guys check this out this is a roller cart it's like three bucks at Walmart it's in like the planted section and whatnot works great for Those of you guys out there who are still toting around five gallon buckets, maybe that's your only option. Boom. 
Works great for dealing with some five gallon buckets, rolling them around. I mean, if you've got thick carpet and whatnot, not so practical, but if you got what I got on hardwood and stuff, you know, a lot easier. Sometimes I still have to deal with five gallon buckets when dealing with my shorter tanks and uh, gravel vacs and whatnot. Quick, that was just a quick tip for you guys. Gonna show you more some, some more Azul, cause he is just beautiful. Hasn't been showing off this much until I threw on these lights today. And uh, he's been out in the open and spending time. Uh, very excited. I was a little unhappy with them in this tank because I just wasn't seeing them enough. Because there is dark sides of the tank. You can see over here, over here, and they would just hang out in there. But, uh, you know, he's just looking great. There he is. Really enjoying this gravel, by the way. It's just awesome. So much easier to deal with. So much easier to clean. Hate siphoning the sand. Um, Got to get rid of all that sand in the 225. Swap that out for some pea gravel. Same thing goes for the 135 with the Gorillas. Those guys get a water change tomorrow. These guys got one today. I'm pretty sporadic with my water changes, but my main goal is just to do a lot of them. Uh, not super consistent. I like to mix it up, you know, 80% one day, 70% the next day. Just wait a week and then do another 50%. I don't know. Pretty sporadic. Have fun with it, though. I love doing water changes. It's got me uh, spending a lot more time with my fish uh, doing water changes. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Give me a smash, buddy. Still my favorite fish right there. Don't know what else to talk to you guys about other than, you know, took out my drip system, told you about some filtration plans, you know, upcoming stuff I want to do as far as lids, insulation. I've got spawns incoming in which I'm going to be raising fry. I've been doing a really terrible job at raising fry lately. I literally have one dovi fry left that I'm raising, which is lame because each of my dovi and the umbies are producing, you know, fry very well. And I just have just been extremely lazy. Don't really want to ship fish right now, but I still am enjoying to see some of my fry growing up. So we're going to get on that pretty soon, as soon as, you know, my fish start making babies. Um, I think that's about it. Don't really know what else to talk about for you guys tonight. Um, I don't know if I showed that I did some work with this right here. I'm not sure if I showed it, but just kind of ran everything, made it look a little nicer. You know, you can see I've got the airline draped up there, so it's out of the out from behind the tank. Same thing. I got that draped up. All runs up. Have it nice and uh centered only thing I got to do is upgrade to the next size up pump and then I'm going to be golden but for right now still doing just fine and if it ain't broke don't fix it uh, and if you can't fix it call somebody else I don't know how that goes because if I can't fix something I usually bullshit it till something works tomorrow I have a 10 watt LED flood white flood flood light um, coming in and I'm going to be wiring it and hooking it up to one of my tanks and seeing how they work that will also assist in my you know reducing running costs in the fish room is running LEDs you know I can sell all my fluorescence and whatnot uh, but you know if I can run 20 to 30 watts of LEDs on each tank versus you know 60 watts of fluorescence LEDs are just a much better light and uh, so pretty excited about that I may go through a video for you guys and show you how to uh, wire one of those up because I didn't get the one with the plug but I do have an extra cord that I had laying around that I'll just wire it up to like I said not a whole lot going on let's see what time it is in the fish room right now 11.30 mm. about time for these guys to go to bed about time for me to go to bed Thanks for watching, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, stay tuned till next time, and as always...